Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Just click the words that say show more and that'll open up the video description. This is a really fun game. It's much like Remy. Hong Kong Mahjong is one of the easiest forms of Mahjong to learn. The scoring has been simplified some of the scoring for Asian versions can be kind of complex. Hong Kong style is the easiest. And if you want to learn how to play, it's the best one to start with. We're going to say that you need two fawn minimum to qualify to win. A fawn is kind of like a point. So I'm going to use the die here to track whose turn it is, kind of like on a board game. Because if you forget whose turn it is, the game is ruined. Another thing that you have to do when you play solitaire with Mahjong, you have to compartmentalize your decision making. So you need to play one hand at a time and not think about what is in the other player's hands. Play one hand at a time, make decisions for that hand, and so on. Otherwise, you'll skew the outcome and ruin the game. All right, let's see what we can do with drawn tiles. I'm gonna deal 14 tiles to east, then 13 to south, west, and north. Okay, so there, there are the tiles for east. There are the tiles for south. Here are the tiles for west. Okay, everybody has their tiles now. As far as exposures, I'm gonna put east exposures to the lower right, south will be to the upper right, West exposures will be to the lower left and north's will be to the upper left. I'm just going to discard randomly in the back and all the tiles are randomly upside down behind here. And I'm just going to pick randomly. You don't need to build a wall when you're playing solitaire. So let's see what East has. We need two fawn. I think that's going to be an easy deal for East this time. They have a pair of their own seat wind. They do have a two flower. That's not their flower though. They're, they're seat one. So this won't give them score. We'll get a replacement though. Five dot. All right, let's see what else they have. Oh, they have a pair of Souths also. East, South. Okay. Oh, they have a pair of ones. I would play all pung, all pung, potential pung, potential pung, potential pung. We just need to pair up and pung. Oh, there's a pung or a potential pung. There's another potential pung. Okay, one, two, three, four sets and they just need a pair. We need to pung, 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 pung. All right, now we're gonna look at South's hand. They have a four flower. That is not their flower. Their, fl their seat two. So they're not going to get score for that. They got a white dragon, a red dragon, and a west. All singles. As a single, these don't help when you have suits. But they have a pair of nines and a fair number of dots. They have mostly dots actually, but they, they only have one tile short here. I don't know. We'll have, we need to get a fawn from somewhere. We could play all chows, but that's only one fawn. They need a, they need a fawn from somewhere else, whether it's their own flower, or a half flush, or a, or a pone of an honor that matters. Right now, they're hurting. Let's look at 
what West has. They have a one flower. That's not a their seat flower. They're number three. So this flower doesn't give them score. So for them, they have a major suit here. And what I mean by major suit is they have mostly dots. So not only that, but they have pairs that can easily become pungs. I would say they should play a half flush. They only have three dis four discards right here. Four discards to get to a half flush, which is one suit with winds and dragons. That's a nice setup right there. Okay, now north, they have two flowers, two and three. They're number four, so they can't get score for these. So we'll just put those to the side and get a replacement. They have a couple of dragons here. But they have a mixture of suits. They have a pair of one bams, but they have mixed suits, which is going to hurt their their chance of getting a, a good scoring hand. Anytime you're with mixed suits and chows, you're going to have a low scoring hand. Chows bring very little score, and all chow hand is one fawn. We'll have to see what happens for them. These two players are in a rough situation. The race right now is between these two players. So let's have East discard one crack. It is now South's turn. Nobody can take a one crack, so we're gonna draw for South. We'll just put it right here. Oh, they got a good keeper right there, nine dot. They could pwn, pung that. Let's throw a four crack and we'll draw for West. They got a six crack. They really can play a half flush if they clear. Let's get rid of the four crack because it's already been thrown. And we'll draw for North. Now, they do have a two, three, but they already have a four here. They could potentially take that for all chows, but the problem is they've got two flowers that are not their own, so they don't have any other score. If they play all chow, they won't be able to win if we're playing a two fawn minimum. So I think they're in trouble. Let's, let's draw. They need to come up with two fawn somehow. Okay, that green dragon might help because any pung of green dra any pung of dragon is is a fawn. Let's see if we can get them to either bams or cracks. Let's throw away the three dot, and we'll draw for east. Nobody can take the three dot, so we're going to draw for east. They got a west. Look at this pair. Pair, 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 pair. One, two, three, four, five. If we get one more pair, we could play seven pair, which is the exception to the rule of four sets and a pair. Usually when you play, you need four sets and a pair where the sets are three of a kind or three in a sequence, but there is the exception to the rule of seven pair. So let's go ahead and throw the four crack because there are already two out and we'll draw for south. Nobody can take the two. We got a five bam. That's not helpful. Let's throw the two bam. We're gonna draw now for west. And west, can nobody can take the two bam. So we're gonna go ahead and draw. Seven bam. They might consider all pung. One, two, three, four pair. Those are all potential pungs. I think maybe they should switch to all pung. Let's throw a six crack. We'll draw now four north. Nobody can take that six. They got a four dot. They do have a chow here, a pair, potential chow. There's a chow, there's a chow. They could play all chows, but they've got to get some kind of a fawn. They're in trouble. They have to decide. Let's play with them hoping for their flower and discard a white dragon. 
And let's draw for east. Nobody can take that white. Red, red dragon. I think because of their situation, I'm going to throw the red because I don't want to be waiting on an honor tile to win. You may never get it. So I'm just going to discard it right now. Red dragon. And that tile is the first one out. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw four south. Eight crack. That's a discard. We'll draw four west and nobody can take it. Oh, there's a pair. Nice. Now they have one, two, three, four, five pair. This player and this player are in the exact same situation. Let's get rid of, for the exact same reason, let's get rid of the green dragon. And now it is North's turn. Five crack. We'll get rid of the green dragon. So before I move on to East, Chow, Pear, Potential Chow, Chow, Potential Chow. They still need their flower before they can win. So let's draw for East. They got a North. Wow, look at that. They have all the wins. But let's get rid of it. I don't want to be waiting on an honor. North. We're going to draw four South. They got a white dragon. They're going to play seven pair. Uh, no, wrong. That's the wrong one. This one up here is seven pair. That can be a, a fawn by itself, this pair of dragons. Let's throw the five bam. So we'll see what happens there. This is player two. They have a flower, but it's a four flower. So they have, they need score. I'm thinking half flesh with the pung of dragons. Let's draw four west. Let's see. They're playing seven pair, I think. Three, four, five. Okay. Three crack. That's a discard. Nobody can take the three crack. So we'll go ahead and draw for north. They drew a north. Now this is their seat wind. That may be their only saving grace. No, because if they pung the north, that's only one fawn. They need their own flower. That's their only recourse. We're throwing the north. And we're going to now draw for east. They got a six dot. Let's see what's out at this point. There's a three crack. Let's discard the three crack. So you always want to look at what's in the discard pile and discard what's out because there's only four of every tile. Let's draw for south. Eight crack. That's a discard. It's already been thrown. We're going to draw for west. Seven bam. Now they have a pung. Pung, I think they're kind of in between. They could switch to all pung. They have one, two, three, four. They're ready to pung. Let's discard the four bam and play now for north. They got a seven crack. Let's discard the red dragon. So they have a chow, a chow, a potential chow, a pear, and a chow. They're ready to win on a two bam or a five bam, but they can't win until they get their own flower because they have one fawn hand with all chows. And that's because they have mixed suits. Anytime you mix suits with chows, you drive your score down. The closer you get to one suit or one suit with honors, which are the winds and dragons, the higher your score. All right, we're going to draw four east. Ooh, they got a seven dot. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're ready on a pair hand. A pair hand is four fawn. Let's throw the eight crack because it's already out. There are two out. They're ready on a six dot for seven pair. Let's draw. Let's see. I just threw an eight crack. Nobody can take it. So let's draw four south. They got a five crack. That's a discard. We'll draw four west. They got a six bam. That's not helpful for them. We'll discard a six bam and draw for north. They got a north. 
Doesn't help them though. They got to have their seat flower. That's what they're waiting on. Let's draw for east. 9 bam. Let's see if there's a 9 bam or a 6 out. Neither. Neither one. So it doesn't really matter. Let's throw the 9 bam. Okay, now it's this player's turn. So we threw a 9 bam. This player has to decide. Do they want to play half flush or do they want to play all pung? They only have three pair though. They'd have to do a lot more drawing to go for all pung. I think I would play half flesh because they can chow and chow. Here, if they did all pung, they only have three, but they're ready to chow, to chow and pung. I think they should play half flesh. Let's throw a six band. Let's see, did I, did I draw? No, I need to draw. Three dot, that's a good draw right there for them. So there's a chow, pung, 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 pair. We need a dot. You don't want to be waiting on a pair with an honor tile. You may never get it. Let's go ahead and throw a nine bam. Break it up right now. It's already been thrown, so it was probably a safe tile. So let's draw now for west. They got a white dragon. Let's discard it. They're set to pung. Let's discard the white and draw. Oh, white. South is going to pung. So we're going to put a pung up here by south. And we'll have them discard the red dragon. And now it is West's turn. They drew an eight dot. That's nice. They got one of their pungs. So now we have to get rid of either the six dot or the seven dot. Neither one of them, when neither one is out, let's just throw the six. Six dot, that's Mahjong for East with seven pair, four fawn hand. So east one, seven pair. Now as far as the rest of the group here, south had a pung of, of white dragons and they were gonna try for all pung or half flesh, that's right, half flesh. So they needed to pung these, they were three away, two away maybe, three away. They were three discards. They had to get rid of these right here. So they were three away. This player here, they were set. They needed to pung these tiles here to get ready. So this was a discard. They were close. This player was ready to win on a two bam or a five bam, but they needed their seat flower because they went for all chows in mixed suits. So again, anytime you're playing with chows, if you're in mixed suits, make sure you have your seat flower intact or you may never win if you have a, if you have a fawn minimum. Let me know what you think about solitaire for Mahjong. Really, you can play solitaire for any style. It's challenging though because you have to be able to compartmentalize your decision making and play as if you don't know what is in the other hands. It's going to take some self-control but I know you can do it. It's really great practice and it's a lot of fun. Give it a try if you haven't yet. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Click that bell too so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these solitaire and random pull videos that can teach you a little bit of strategy and give you some insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.